Hey everyone, welcome back to Consulting Joe. Today we're going to be creating a real-time face recognition system using Python. We'll be leveraging powerful libraries like face recognition and OpenCV. This project utilizes multi-threading and caching to optimize performance. So the first thing we're going to need is to import our libraries, face recognition, computer vision, NumPy. Um, we're going to need threading because we're multi-threading this. We're going to have one thread uh, handling all the video and the other thread is going to deal with the face recognition. Uh, a queue is a message queue so that we can pass our frame data from our video to uh, our other thread. Uh, time so that we can do some delays and then pickle is going to allow us to cache our embeddings once we go through our folder of faces and we generate those encodings they they take a few seconds we're going to save that as a pickle file uh, with the same image name so that we can look up that and load it much faster the next time we load the application uh, so uh, the first of uh, function we're going to need is lo load node and faces. So we're going to create a couple arrays, one for the encoding and one for the, the actual names of the faces. And then we're going to loop through all of the images in our directory, which is going to be called uh, known faces. So we get our image path and we get our, our name, which is the uh, image path minus the extension um, and then we're going to get a pickle path which is going to have our pickle file in case that file has already been generated and the encoding for that face has already been created we can just grab that instead so if it does exist great let's load that in instead otherwise we have to generate our face recognition data for each photo. Uh, so once we gather those encodings for each image, we're going to add them to an array for our encodings and then also for our names. We're going to save out, we're going to dump that data out to a pickle file, and then we're going to um, we're going to return those encodings and uh, names. So that is what load known faces does. From there we have our thread and our thread is going to be for the video feed. So it's video capture thread. Um, so it's using threading and the, when it initializes it will start the webcam, show it, and make sure that the width and height are set which defaults to 640 by 480 and the frame rate is 30 frames. And then we're gonna create a queue so we can pass those frames to the main thread. Uh, we're gonna have a flag called stop so that we know uh, to stop the video and shut everything down. So we can exit that thread, shut it off. Um, and then once we run, and once everything's going and once the queue is not full because we need to wait for it to uh, pull messages off uh, we're going to read our frames from the webcam and then put those into our queue and then we're going to wait a little bit of time and then we're going to have a little function for reading uh, and then a function to get uh, messages out of the queue and then a function to, like I said, stop our camera. So that is our video thread right there. And then here is the main application. So once we get into the main application, we set up our known faces directory. We set up, uh, we run that function we just went over, the load known faces, and we pass that directory in, known faces. And that's going to all turn into these two arrays, these like lists. And then uh, we do some print statements. We create our thread that we also just went over up here. 
Uh, so we create an instance of that thread, uh, which source zero, so our first camera. Uh, we want a little bit better resolution and our message queue size is two. So there's a list of two frames that that queue will hold at a time. Uh, so then we start that video feed up and we want to only process every two frames because it's wasteful on the on the processor to keep do doing it and you know when you're barely moving so uh, we can save some processor power there and then we need some arrays for the location of where the faces are on the webcam so we can draw boxes and put the names and our confidence scores there so Sorry if I'm going quick, but there's a lot to go over. We're almost done. So here is our main loop. And from here, we always are running. We're always pulling uh, image frames out of that queue that, that our, our webcam thread is running, our video thread. And then we're doing a count. So we know, do we need to process this thread? Or, or I'm sorry, do we need to process this frame or should we skip this frame? And that way we can go back and forth. So we can control that here with two or one if you wanna just process every every one frame. Three, if you set it to three, the box will be trailing your face. And so two is just kind of a happy medium. So uh, that's also controlled right here to uh, see if uh, we have our remainder and then it'll just kind of loop back. So uh, this kind of checks if this is uh, the frame we need to process or not. Uh, from there, we want to resize our image and cut it down by half so that uh, speeds up uh, processing. And then we need to convert that image that is gathered from open computer vision from BGR image uh, colors to RGB, which is what face recognition library uses. So we just run a little conversion there. And then we uh, detect all the faces using the hog model. Um, so we get our face locations. And then from those face locations, we get our face embeddings in the faces live. So from those face, in, in, I'm sorry, embeddings, encodings, from those face encodings, we want to loop through all the faces we see in the webcam in that frame. And then we want to check them against the ones that we have stored or that we just grabbed uh, when we loaded the application. So for each one, we check our distance, which is how uh, far or how close it is of a match to some of our images in our directory. And uh, we get the best match from those distances uh with how close they are to each image and then that best match index will tell us which person it is so by default we're gonna we're gonna say it's unknown 100 percent. we don't know who it is but from there if the distance is less than 60 percent let's say um then we're going to assign our our name and our confidence to who we find in our directory, those images and, and the file names. Um, so then we append those uh, to a uh, face names directory that we, or I'm sorry, uh, array that we created up here. And then we loop through our face locations and our face names that we just created. And then we create rectangles and text boxes of those names and those confidence scores uh, right there. So here's our confidence and here's our name and then here's our rectangle for each uh, each face location and each face name uh, item. So then we show the actual frame in our window and then we wait in case the user hits Q to escape the application and if that happens we drop here, which will quit our video thread and then close all the windows and then we're done. So 
lot there, but I hope you learned something. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or you have a suggestion. And I hope this helped. Uh, check out the uh, GitHub for more if you want to get this code. And uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.